Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. If you followed along with the recent tournaments and discussions within the community the past few weeks, you'll have noticed there's been a lot of attention surrounding this one topic. So I thought I'd make this video to talk about one of the strongest specs, if not the strongest spec in the entire PvP meta at the moment, and tell you why it's so effective and what you can do to counter it. So let's get right into it. The spec in question is the End of Dragons Warrior Elite Specialization, Bladesworn, and it's really powerful at the moment. In ranked, it's not uncommon to find two on each team simply due to how much value it provides on the map. It's got good 1v1 and 2v2 matchups, excellent teamfight potential, and has very good mobility to run around and chase kills as a roamer. Now, part of the reason it's so effective is because Dragon Trigger is bugged and busted, and the Dragon Slashes ignore half the mechanics in the game, including blind, block, slow, and I guess on the flip side, quickness, stealth with their on my mark shout, and honestly even dodges, because the hitbox is completely borked as you can see in this clip here. What? How did that hit me? Are you kidding me? If you didn't catch it the first time, play it back in slow motion, like 0.25 speed, and look at how far away the Bladesworn's character model is from me when that skill actually hits. You can even see the evade indicator pop up five times before the skill actually hits me. So the hitbox lasts longer than my actual evade frame, because I dodged right as the flash happened, but I still got hit. At the end of this video, I'll show you how you can avoid this game-breaking quote-unquote feature on Bladesworn that can completely screw you over if you get caught by it. But the main reason it stands out as much as it does is because fighting a Bladesworn is effectively a stat check in a game mode where stats are equalized. In other words, the damage and healing numbers are so high it's almost impossible to win trades into it. Everything does so much damage and they have so much healing that if you eat two attacks the majority of your health vanishes into the wind. Meanwhile you can full combo the blade sworn and they'll just heal right back up to full in an instant while cleansing all of the conditions on themselves in the process. And they can do this three times. And even if you do manage to pressure them low they can just leap away with fast and or protected mobility and blinks and be halfway across the map before you know it. So the question becomes what works into Bladesworn? And what can you do into a spec that simply has higher numbers across the board and can seemingly fill every single role at the same time? Well, there is actually one thing that works quite well, but most people wouldn't recognize it at a first glance. My hope with this video is that it teaches people how to shut this spec down, because left untouched, a well-played Bladesworn can really run rampant in games and make it almost impossible to win fights in a reasonable amount of time, or win them at all for that matter. And that method is crowd control, and lots of it. But it's weird, right? Because when you look at a Bladesworn's kit, they can have anywhere from 3 to 4 stun breaks from a potential frenzy utility and 3 charges of the shake it off shout in conjunction with their elite skill, and they also have 3 seconds of stab every 10 seconds from their dragon trigger, in combination with the dragon skill defense master minor trait, which is also a bug by the way, the cooldown is supposed to be 60 seconds not 10, so when you're looking at it in a vacuum, you're going to go, oh my gosh, how in the world am I supposed to CC this unstoppable juggernaut blindside, and I'll tell you how. But make sure you're paying attention because it's a very specific scenario and has specific indicators. You need to make sure you're recognizing these patterns or else the strategy isn't going to work. Funnily enough, doing so takes one of Bladesworn's bugs and turns it against itself. So how do you CC a Bladesworn to death? Well, Shake It Off has two charges, but what many people don't know is that there is a 4 second internal cooldown between charges. That means if the Bladesworn stun breaks once, he won't be able to use the second stun break until 4 seconds later. So follow a CC up with another CC right after they break it and burst them afterwards while they are unable to move or cast any skills. Second, if the Bladesworn quickly taps any of their dragon slashes, they will go on a 4 second cooldown. If they use another dragon slash before the 10 second internal cooldown on dragon scale defense is up, they won't have stability, and you can CC them to try and force a stun break for the previously mentioned strategy. As a side note, you can also mitigate a lot of the damage with projectile denial or reflex. And yeah, now you know how and when to CC a Bladesworn properly. This becomes more effective in teamfights as well when there's more damage and crowd control being thrown around. Finally, if you want to avoid that unfortunate situation earlier in the video where I got hit by a dragon slash even though I dodged the skill, the way to do that is to dodge in the direction of the blade sworn when you see the flash from the hilt of their blade. If you dodge away like I did, the crazy hitbox of dragon slash boost is likely to hit you at the end of your evade frame. And that's it for this video. If you enjoyed and learned something, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends. If you want to see more from my channel, click the links here and I'll see you in the next one.